Hello everyone. Today we're going to talk about custom navigation and how you can actually use custom action in order to navigate to any page in your uh, Flutterflow project. So this is actually an old code right now which is not working because since the published of this code in the GitHub, uh, in the sorry, in the yeah, in the GitHub repo. Uh, since then, Flutterflow changed uh, the way uh, it's navigating to pages, and it's not using the default navigation that uh, uh, Flutter is providing, but it's actually using GoRouter. And this is the package I'm talking about. They are using GoRouter. So when you go, let me show you. So when you open your project, when you go to dev tools, view code, you can actually see all the packages that are used inside uh, your project. Um, but unfortunately, uh, you cannot, uh, there is no go router over here. Uh, I'm not sure why. Uh, but uh, this is the case. If someone knows the answer, let me know. But uh, yeah, uh, the thing is that it, they are using Go Router. Probably Go Router is a package of some other package, and that's why it is not over here. This is my guess. Uh, but yeah, they are using Go Router, and also uh, and also probably one good hint is that when you actually have some code. Uh, and you want to search over your code. So for example, let's say scrolling, it doesn't really matter. And you want to find this code bottom. And when you and when you are at the top of the page and when you click uh, Control F and you click go bottom, sometimes it's not, uh, this will not work. Uh, but if it's not working, you have to scroll the page and click uh, uh, Enter, Enter constantly to find the uh, one that you are searching for this is just a hint how you can search inside the code uh, it's working strangely uh, but this is how it works for me at least and then uh, the idea as i said is to create a custom uh, navigation so when you click this button for example this is the, my custom navigation i should go to a page uh, call it so this is the one page actions so this is the, the page that I'm going to. Uh, and uh, let me show you the actual code. So when I go over here, I can show you the actual code, uh, which is this is my navigation. And previously I left the code so I can just show you how I delete it now. Uh, so I can just show you uh, what was my, uh, what was, how was the navigation working before. But right now I just test it and right now this will give you an error. So before you had to import your page uh, in order to use uh, the page and every page is in Flutterflow, it's a widget. Uh, so that's strange, but that's true. Um, pages are also widgets and inside pages you have another widgets, other widgets. So it's like widget inside widget and so on and so forth. Uh, but before that, as I said, you had to have this import and the entry page uh, in order this to work. Uh, and I can right now I can simply command this thing, this uh, those lines because this is, as I said, this is not working because this was the old way of doing it, and the new way is with only those single line of code, which is context that push name and then uh, actions. Uh, so this is coming, as I said, this is coming from Go router. If I save it right now and if I instant reload this page, I should be able to actually uh, navigate to actions uh, from the bottom. But let me show you the setup as well while this is loading. So if I go to Entry is my entry page, and if I cl click this button, uh, I have the custom action, which is navigate to page, and this is navigate to page, and the page that I'm navigating is the entry uh, go 
router right now. Uh, but let me, I have to change that because this was the old logic. So if I go over here, uh, no, this is actually, so let me say that this is actions. Let me change that to actions and save that and go over here and change this to actions. So this is uh, the page that I want to navigate to. Let's say that is actions. And let me show you, uh, this should still work. Uh, yes, as you can see, this is page this is the main page. And if I click custom navigation, it will navigate to actions. And let me show you, this is my action page. So you can see this is the page that is showing. So it, this is working. Uh, the reason for that it is working is that uh, when you go to the, when I go to the code, uh, it's actually uh, getting the page, the name of the page. And if the name of the page in this case is actions, then it will go to actions. Uh, you can actually, name those pages the same name. So you can, in theory, uh, you can just say, uh, you can remove this code and you can just say, uh, code to page and this page name will be uh, page. So in theory, this should work. Let me save this and let me show you what I mean. Uh, if I go to entry again, custom navigation, and then page and the page should be actions without the quotes. That's important. And if I instant reload, this should work as well. So now the test mode loads, this is the main page, the entry page. If I click custom navigation, it will, that, that this will still work and I will still be able to navigate to this page. So what do you what what if your page has a page parameter? So I added in actions this is my page. I added a new parameter which is called ID. So let me show you. So this is the I the parameter of ID. It is a string. It could be an integer as well, but in my case it's a string. And I added a default value of one. So when you're actually navigating to this page right now, if you're using a standard navigation, so I just uh, uh, made this text to use a standard navigation menu and I have navigated to actions and I pass the parameter, uh, which in my case, it's three to three. And then how do you actually do this using code? So when you go over here and you go navigate to page, uh, this is how you're supposed to do it. So when you have a simple navigation, you can just use page. You can just use it like that. So let me just show you. So this is like sim. This is like navigation without parameters. You can use it like that. So I'll just leave this code. Uh, I'll just command this code uh, in case uh, someone wants to use it. Uh, but in theory, uh, I would just do the more complex one, which is navigate with Rams. And this is actually how uh, you can do it. So you have the page again, but we have also query parameters. And the query parameters, the important part here is that this have to be changed. So to do, you have to change the, you have to change the, uh, the name of the parameter. So in my case is ID, uh, but in your case, uh, it could be something else. Uh, so you have to change that. Uh, just keep in mind, uh, you have to change that. Uh, and then if you have another one, let's say that you have like, let's say that you have like name, for example, this is how you add it. So you have, so this is one parameter this is another parameter over here. So this is how you add it. Make sure that you have all the parameters uh, or 
uh, put the default parameters if you don't have them because otherwise it you would just uh, it would just give an error and the whole app will blow up so make sure that you have all parameters i'm just showing you maybe i, I will comment this one as well and just write if you have if you have more than one parameter uh, just add this code yeah and then like I said this is an ID uh, and in my case I'm getting the ID from the string uh, which is uh, argument of this custom action so if I go over here uh, if I go over here I can pass the ID right now which is one so remember I'll just say this one more time I have the normal navigation which is navigate to actions the action is the name of my page and I have a parameter and this side inside this parameter I have the ID of three to three and here I'm using a custom navigation which I'm navigating in this case to the same page which is actions and then the ID is one so probably the most important part that I forgot probably to say is that where is this actions coming from this is coming from the route settings so actions you can uh, see it here in the route settings if you navigate if you want to navigate to home uh, for example this is how you navigate to home if you want to navigate to custom actions this is how to navigate to custom actions up bar for example call me and so on and so forth so the name on the left side could be different than the route settings because here i can just change the name which i can say uh, actions page for example but you can see that this name is changed as well over here uh, or i can just say uh, the action parameter i just want it to be actions so most of the time like 99 percent of the time if you have the name of the page uh, like actions it will be the same as here because it's changing when you change the name of the page uh, it is changing the routing name as well if you specifically change the routing name it will not change the page name uh, so i'm guessing that 99 percent of uh, the time you get the same name but keep in mind this is how you get it if you uh, just wonder and then uh, now when i use the normal navigation i use this uh, the id is uh, uh, three two three and i'm getting this from text uh, uh, combinement and i'm combining this is the id and i'm getting the id from the parameter of the page uh, which is over here and when i go back this is the normal one here menu again and when i go back uh, i can just show you the uh, the custom one is working as well because this is the id of one which we are getting it as i said from over here so nav id of one so um, people are asking so there is this uh, post uh, about new or existing users routing so because if you're wondering i'm showing this because if you're wondering uh, where or where you are supposed to use, use this uh, first of all you can use it in a custom action but you can use it also in a custom widget so let me show you if you want to use it in a custom widget let me show you how you can use it so this is how you're supposed to do it just keep in mind that let this is a simple custom widget that it says uh, my html editor i did a video about it it's a, a html or rich text editor if you haven't watched it make sure to watch it if you're interesting uh, interested and if you want to use uh, custom navigation inside uh, widgets you can understand how this code works and then here uh, you can use the context uh, as well which is coming from here and you can say push named again and the name of the page and in my case over here i'm higher coding it but you can get it from a parameter as well if you want to and then if you need to, to pass queries as well uh, you can pass it this way uh, like the id for example and then you have 33 
I'm hardcore I'm hard coding it again, um, but you can pass it as a parameter again. But this is how you uh, you have to do it. Uh, make sure that you do it on on uh, pressed. So you have on pressed sync, and then make sure you put it inside this uh, synced uh, on pressed function. And because there was there were people actually in the community asking about how we can track a user which page uh, the user are. Uh, so when the when a user uh, already uh, go to the project or the app, uh, we can go back to the to the same page that the user left the application from. You can actually do this if you have a uh, scaffold action, and if you have a local state. So you should have a local state which is like a current page, let's say. And then this is a string, this could be a string. And then here you can just say on every single page, uh, like you can say over here, on every single page, you can actually on the scaffold, you can actually say uh, to uh, save which page you are currently in. Uh, so you can update the local state of the page that you're currently in. And you have to hard code, hard code it the name of the route. So uh, let me show you how you can do that probably. So add action and then update local state. And then the one that I want to update is the current page. Why I can find it. this one I don't know why the search is not working and then I want to set value and I want specific value I don't remember what was the name of my page so let me copy and paste it so this is how you can do it and you should do this for every single page and I think this should be on the top because this is the most important part if you want to navigate to the same page and then and then you can actually use the custom navigation and then i recommend you to have like an another local state to say if it's already navigated or not uh, and just have an if statement so if it's navigated then uh, don't navigate it or else navigate it because every time if you leave it like that so if you have it uh, so i can show you to navigate to navigate to page and then uh, the page that i want to navigate will be the one from the local state uh, which will be over here and i think in the bottom this one and the ID, is, I will hard code it right now if you want to have a parameter. So let's say this is the ID. Uh, and if you leave it like that, it will actually cons if, if it will constantly re reload because when you get to this page to just say, oh, okay, I should go to navigation. And then when it goes to navigation, it will just say, uh, okay, just, uh, uh, reload to navigation this will constantly reload 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 so you need a way to actually say you need a global variable which would be a, a current state and it and you need to actually have a condition and inside this condition you should have a local state uh, which can have and say like if it's true so if it's already navigated uh, then don't navigate anymore so first first things first it should check if it's already navigated or not and if it's not navigated then update the value so make sure put this over here and then and then if it's uh if it's not if it's not navigated and you want to navigate it uh, you should put this navigation over here to navigate it to the page that the user was supposed to go and then here you should have another action i will not set it up but you get the logic 
I suppose you have to update the uh, local state and you have to say uh, don't uh, navigate to pages anymore because as I said if you allow it to navigate to pages it will just constantly reload so don't navigate to pages and here you should say uh, if don't navigate it to pages is false then navigate to a page if it's true it, it is already navigated to a page then uh, then just uh, then just uh, update uh, the current page which is the current page right now the user is so so that's it for the tutorial uh, I would just want to so I just really quickly wanted to show you that I also have mentoring hours if you like uh, two and then I have every Monday I have uh, live sessions that you can actually join and ask me anything uh, that you want to for free um, and yeah that's it so thank you very much for watching if you uh, want to get the code it will be available in the description below so yeah thanks goodbye take care